Mama Susan and the big family, His Excellency President Uhuru Kenyatta, the Deputy President Honorable or His Excellency William Samoy Ruto, Honorable Matiba's great confident and friend, the Right Honorable uh, Raila Odinga. The many mourners today, ladies and gentlemen, countrymen, lovers and friends, I greet you all in the name of humanity. It gives me a lot of pleasure realizing that the man lying in state here said no to tyranny in the sure belief that rebellion against tyranny was obedience to God. This man lying in state here deserves more than what the people of Muranga have come or what all of us have been telling His Excellency Uhuru Kenyatta to name the Muranga Wat, the Muranga Wat. Kenneth Matiba was a national figure. <laughs> While he was a father to you in Muranga, he was an uncle to me in Lamu, father. He was definitely a friend to whoever was in Loi Tokitok. Honor of uh, His Excellency uh, Uhuru Kenyatta, I plead with you. I plead with you in the most humble manner to disregard whatever you have been told about naming any institution in Muranga to honor Matiba. Let him be honored nationally. In the advent of multipartism, I was a young man, age 28. I left the teaching profession and came and joined Kenneth Matiba. The gentleman lying in state asked me, young man, do you know what I have gone through? Are you prepared to team up with me? And then I told him, yes, I am. The Honorable Martin Shikuku then said, we were in Lancaster. I told Honorable Shikuku, then age did not allow me to be in Lancaster. But age allows me now to work with Honorable Matiba and bring about the desired change, change meaningful to the poor people of Kenya. This man lying in state is a great man. By all standards, he is a great man. My brother Sammy Louis has told me that I have only two minutes. Allow me to request you. Allow me to request you, Sammy Louis, to give me a third minute in honor of this great man. <laughs> On the 15th of this month, death befell a hero, a doyen of opposition politics. On the 18th of this month, Lamu County Assembly was the first county assembly in this republic to pay tribute to a fallen hero. Today, I believe we are not barring Kenneth Matiba. I am absolutely not barring my chairman. I'm barring a shadow of Kenneth Matiba. My chairman shall live and live and to inspire us into greater heights of prosperity. Your Excellency, in the year 200, 2002, you vied against Mwai Wakivaki, the president, the third president of this country. Then this man told me, amongst these two gentlemen, who would you vote, Mr. Kusoma? I said, none. <laughs> and then he told me, go for an early vacation. Thank you so much. Would you ever vote? I said, no. Do you have your card? I said, I don't remember where my card is. All I know is I'm not going to vote. He told me, go for an early vacation, but make sure that on the 4th of January, 2003, you are at Safari Beach. We stayed and had a cup of tea, and later on that night, 
two football teams were playing. This gentleman, and I know I have better secrets than any politician concerning this great man. He confided in me because I believed in him. I cherished him. I love him. And the man showed me absolute love and concern. This man, on the 4th of January 203, told me, I'm a very sad man. I love President Uhuru Kenyatta then. And Uhuru Kenyatta then, he was not the president. Allow me, Mr. President, uh, forgive me. He told me this man should never lose any election to my Okivaki. And Mohammed, I am telling you here and now, this man one day shall be the president of this country. He then took me to a place where he told me this is where the gentleman Uhuru Kenyatta entered his adulthood alongside uh, Raymond and the rest. This gentleman loved you, Mr. President. He loved you, and he loved you with all his heart. So ignore these calls for naming anything in Muranga. Find something viable. <laughs> Find something that shall definitely inspire others to be like Mr. Matiba. You know the Kikuyus have a saying, and I'm not a racist, I'm not even a student of racism. The Kikuyus have a saying and they say, and umahana dhaka memendaga goikara makiuruga go, Matika mate. <laughs> Mr. President, throughout my political career, I have never voted for the government, except in the last elections. Except in the last elections. And you and... and uh, giving you my own car when you came because I was doing it for this great man. And today, I believe, as we sit here, as we sit here, we shall definitely inspire each and every one of us to live happily, to live in a friendly atmosphere, and definitely to forge ahead, stand up manfully, and make good the demands KSN had. He has super books. He has a book, A Dream for Kenya. He has a book, uh, uh, Aiming High. He has a book, Kenya, A Mess That Must Go. And then he also had a very interesting book. A book that was banned by the tyranny, tyrannical leaders in the advent of multipartism, uh, Return to Reason. Susan my dear sister, and a dear one to me, please let us make everything possible so that that book can see the shelves for Kenyans, the youthful Kenyans here, to read and understand the ideals this man stood for. I am indeed, I am indeed very moved because I now see amongst the various, his, uh, uh, the, 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 the various governors present here, I see my strong governor, Governor 001. Please, please, let us do something for Matiba in Coast Province because that is a place that forever shall cherish his dreams and he did exactly everything that he could do. In Lamu, Matiba had a fundraising in 1984 in the advent of multipartism. Mr. President Sir, the same Kenneth Sandinjindo Amatiba did build the Mokoe Subdistrict Hospital in his tenure as uh, the, the Minister of Health. We look forward to you all uh, to actually get inspired and uh, do something that would definitely become a tangible historical aspect for a man who loved us, for a man who has always been very dear. Yesterday, my, uh, I heard Susan and everybody saying that a lot of people have benefited, are beneficiaries to the great generosity of Kenneth Stanley Jindo Matiba. Mr. President, my own girl from Chundwa Primary School in Faza finished her standard eight. And the next thing is, my chairman here ensured 
and insisted that this girl must join Hillcrest International School. She is definitely a product of that, that uh, sponsorship of Kenneth Sandin Jino Matiba. Yesterday, as she was watching the mass in the cathedral, she saw you caring, caring in your very private capacity, not as the head of state, carrying the casket bearing the remains of a great man. You know, she called me last night and told me, Dad, if ever you get a chance to see His Excellency Uhuru Kenyatta, tell him that he is indeed a very humble president. And tell him that may God bless him. Your Excellency, I feel obliged to give this, uh, these salams from one of the beneficiaries of one Kenneth Standing Jindo Matiba. Uh, to, uh, to wind up, I say to him, like I say all, uh, to you all, his generosity and active solidarity over the course of years helped us to see the light of day. We Kenyans pay him the homage in death as we did in life of faithful friendship. Indeed, very faithful friendship. Fare thee well, Mze. Fare thee well, my chairman, and fare thee well, my mentor. Thank you, and thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Sam.